Great little player here from our main man, Mr. Douglas Moore in Southern Indiana. For those of you that follow our page or any of our channels, you know that as soon as we post these Douglases, they go, 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 because they P-L-A-Y. They play. That's what a capital P, by the way. Doug knows how to make a really good play in Q, and there's a reason why we sell so many, but you just don't see a bunch of them come back up on the resale market. Perfect little Q right here. Nice and understated. For those of you that want to have a great player that you can bring to tournaments or league night without a whole boatload of fancy inlays or something that you got to worry about somebody snagging from you. Although if they played with this one, they'd want to snag it out of your hand. Cool looking cue. Six pointer. You've got six straight Coco Bolo points. So three high, three low. I like how he staggered them like that. Highly figured bird's eye maple. This is a lighter weighted cue, okay? Uh, the reason for that... Bird's Eye Maple is a lighter weight. Doug cores his cues. Coco Bolo is not real heavy either, uh, but you can add weight to it. So for those of you that are hunting that lighter weight cue, some of you like the heavier cues, some of you like the lighter weight cues, right? So your balance point on this one's going to be right about there, okay? It is slightly forward weighted, which in my opinion is really good. I talked to one of my uh, other cue maker friends in California, and he told me before that you want a cue that's forward balanced. That way, if you're, there's a lot of different reasons. One of them, if you're shooting a shot off of a rail, when you come up off the shot, the cue stays down. So you can help with your um, fundamentals that way as well. So that could be a matter of opinion. I have noticed that it does help. Some people just simply like that forward weight when they hit the ball. But I do believe that it helps keep it down. So in any event, what's really special about this particular cue right here, besides the fact that Doug Moore is a Super cool, very private cue maker. And I'm going to get into that awesome wrap with you in just a second. I know you guys are eyeballing that. How cool is that? Looks way cooler in person, by the way, and it feels really good. Yes, it rolls flat on the table, by the way. So there's no, it looks like it, it stands out, but it doesn't. It's really smooth. So the, the joint, this is really, really, really kind of the secret sauce right here. That's the magic right there. That is a super joint. So it's aircraft aluminum. That has been machined down, and then it's covered in phenolic, okay? How he does it, I have no idea. I can't make toast, but I can tell you as a person that likes to play pool every day, I'll give you a 100% money back guarantee on that super joint right there, and on this whole setup. It makes the cue absolutely thunk, the balls. I mean, it hits so good. Think of an ivory joint as being soft. Stainless steel joint being a harder, firm hit. This is going to be about a medium to firm. Excellent, excellent combination right there. Radial pin. Doug stays about 8, not about, I'm sorry. He stays 840 at the joint. So if you want to put a carbon on here, which I don't know why you would want to, but you got some carbon lovers out there. I'm going to deter you away from that in just a minute for the wood lovers. But 14.9 uh, on the butt. You can add weight to it. Or if you want the lighter butt, you can leave it the way that it is. Now to the wrap that separates the front and back of the cue. This is an embossed, embossed baby gator wrap. Now, for those of you out there that are into the environment, I know we got some tree huggers out there, and I can appreciate that. We love our animals too. This is not real alligator. It is real leather though. So embossed, meaning that it has the print of the alligator on there, but it's real leather, not real alligator. Super cool wrap. Great installation. It's got a really neat look to it with that Coco Bolo. I'll see if I can capture it on camera. What I like is the grip, though. When you slide your hand down onto it, once you get a grip, it's really, really good and firm. So embossed baby gator wrap. And then you have what Doug calls the Douglas X rings at all positions. So you've got white and black rings. 58-inch total Q length. Very nice Coco Bolo. Super, super nice. Kind of deep, dark, rich, chocolatey looking Coco Bolo right there. Brand new, unchalked, unplayed. This particular cue right here is only $15.75 plus shipping. I do want to let all of you know that we are now able to offer a firm through our website. So if you want to purchase this or any of our products, you can check out with a firm. They add the cost of the shipping. 
Shipping is 50 bucks up to 1500 and then it goes to 75 flat rate shipping in the United States above 1500 So if you check out with the firm, you can get no interest, zero interest for six months. Or they have different options. And we, of course, do the layaway options at Crossroad Queues as well. So a lot of different options. We want to do whatever we can to make it available for you. This is an Evolution Keelwood shaft with this setup. Excellent playing shaft. I would put this Keelwood shaft up against any other Keelwood in the market. And I've got about all of them over here. I've got the Tsunamis. I've got the Trans Case. I'm a fan of all of those. I like Doug shafts as much as anything out there. Very, very good playing. This is a medium roasted shaft. Tomahawk ferrule. Medium ultra skin fire tips. Comparable to the Kamui. Uh, medium Kamui. So Kamui mediums. And then you have... A hard rock, Canadian hard rock maple shaft. So you got the best of both worlds. If you want to try the ultra low deflection shaft or you like to play with the maple, I guarantee you that you will lean more towards that keel wood, even if you're an old school maple guy. I've done it myself. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The keel wood's 3.6 ounces, 13 millimeter, and the Canadian hard rock maple shaft, also bearing the tomahawk ferrule, is a 3.5 ounce. 12.85 so douglas moore custom q available right now if you're following us anywhere on social media please check this out at crossroadqs.com right now before it sells thanks for taking a peek crossroad cues